Hey guys, in this video, let's take a look at what it would take to create a uh, some sort of a shape or a material that could be transparent in Maya. So maybe maybe it's a cape or a leaf or a plant. Uh, in my case, just for this example, I was just going to simply play around and see um, what uh, it would take. But while I do it, I, might, I, I thought maybe I might as well record it as well and just see if uh, it could be useful. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to create anything uh, spectacular. All I'm trying to do is just create some sort of a, a graphic with um, alpha or transparency. So maybe I have a cape that has, you know, some crazy uh, thing in the bottom and if I hold on the old key, maybe it has like a hole here, something like that, right? So I don't need the background. And all I'm going to do is just simply, uh, let's paint it some color. doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go for like maybe a blue, a blue cape. And um, if we wanted to, I could also maybe just make it just a little more interesting. So maybe I'll add like a darker, darker bottom to this. So I'm going to just simply make it a little darker. Just do something like that. And let's do one more thing. This is just a really quick, dirty example, but I'm just trying to see what it will actually uh, take. So let's take this and bring it into Maya and see if we can use it as a cape uh, uh, with a character. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say file, save as. All right, so I'm going to save my file. Um, I'm going to put it in a folder called Maya test. And I'm just going to name this maybe something like cape. And instead of using a PNG, I'm just going to use standard uh, Photoshop PSD file. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and say save. And one other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to image uh, levels and I'm going to make another version of this with just simply using um, white and black. And this is going to be my uh, alpha, right? So I'm going to say save as and I'm going to call it cape, but this one is going to be called alpha right and I'm gonna say save all right so now let's jump into Maya all right so here I am in Maya and let's go ahead and do something simple I'm gonna grab a plane and let's make it a little larger and now I'm going to simply create a material so um, for this example, let's just, let's try a couple things. First, I'm going to say just simply a uh, fong material. And the reason I say just for this example, I mean, just for a second is because I know that fong, the fong does not work with, uh, Arnold, right? So it will work in, um, in my, in my view here, but I want to show you, uh, both examples so you can see the difference. So. I'm going to select uh, this material and let's go ahead and grab our uh, map that we made. So I'm going to grab my ca uh, cape.psd and say open. And I'm going to turn on my um, button here, the um, my texture button. And now right away I can see that um, it's sort of working, right? So the Maya automatically is using the um, clear part of the PSD as transparency, right? Um, but it's also reflecting the light as well. And if we didn't want that um, in our view, right, we could go to render and we could say instead of object sorting, we could say alpha cut and say select. And now you can see that it's only uh, displaying 
the cape that we made and obviously this is wrong proportions it's more like more like this all right so that's pretty cool right so we were able to uh, get it to look nice in the viewport now if I rotate this I can see that this side is black right and that's because under my lighting um, I could say two-sided lighting if I turn that on you can see that it's actually this it's going to display our map on both sides okay so the next example let's say we don't want this reflection um, but we still want to stay in the viewport right so for that all I need to do is just simply go to uh, my material attribute here and then instead of Fong I could say Lemberg and if I do that you can see that now there's no uh, shining right no reflection so that's that's cool now if we did render this right now obviously it's just gonna be black because there's no lights so let's go ahead and stick some lights in here so I'm just gonna say sky dome light and the other thing I'm gonna do is uh, set this to 1k so it's nice and square and now if we render this out um, we can see that Lambert is indeed um, rendering but it's giving us this black uh, box for our alpha so what do we do so one thing we could do um, our camera right now has the white background so if we wanted to we could turn this down if you select your camera and your outliner you can actually Turn this so this is white this is black so this is going to be like kind of gray background maybe it will be a little easier to all right so now if see. we uh, render this out you can see that uh, Lambert is not letting us do transparency in Arnold render right because um, it's doing a nice job giving us a preview in the viewport but it's not rendering uh, properly so for this let's go ahead and use a different uh, material so I'm going to actually use um, Arnold material called AI standard surface and let's go ahead and grab our um, texture once again so I'm gonna grab this cape.psd one more time okay and this time if I uh, select this I'm gonna make sure my opaque is not selected and in my um, material attribute editor if I go to geometry you see something here called opacity now if I click on this button and grab my uh, so I'm gonna grab this other one that I made called cape uh, underscore alpha and you remember this is the one with the white and uh, black right so I'm gonna say open and as soon as I say open you can see that alpha has been applied right and it looks uh, great in the preview and if I go to my uh, attribute editor here, I can even... All right, just so for the preview uh, sake, if we needed this to be a little brighter, uh, we could pump up this exposure a little bit, right? That's one way of getting a nice uh, preview in your viewport. But obviously that's gonna mess up with your rendering. So I'm actually gonna put it back. And uh, now if I just simply press render, you can see that in Arnold, my cape is uh, rendering perfectly, right? And now if we uh, wanted to change the light, we could do that too. We can maybe make it a little more intense. And obviously right now it's not showing us uh, any adjustments. So if you wanted to see this in real time, you could go to lighting and say, use all lights. And as soon as you do that, it's going to give you like a preview of what Arnold lights would look like. And that would be one way of seeing something changing. Another way of doing it obviously is clicking on the IPR button and that's going to give you a real time preview as well. So as you adjust this, you could see right away changes in your IPR window. Sometimes if the scene gets really complex, IPR gets really slow and um, that is not a problem for faster computers. But if you have an older computer, um, you could just cheat and just simply use 
show all lights and that's going to give you sort of a similar preview of about what that looks like but anyways this is how easy and uh, quickly you can set up alphas or transparency uh, in both the viewport and uh, Arnold uh, rendering. So now you can have really cool uh, characters with different uh, transparency things for clothing or uh, robots or anything like that. So I hope you found this useful and this is pretty uh, simple, but it's one of those things until you play around with it, sometimes it seems to get uh, sort of tricky. So even for my own sake, I wanted to record this and uh, just get a better understanding of um, all the different um, things you can do. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.